Thank you for listening to GCN. Great Talk Radio starts here. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready because, well, I'm wound up and there is a lot to cover and it just continues to illustrate everything we've been talking about. There is a private anti-free market, anti-family world government being established uh, that calls itself the new world order. It's just modern slavery where the globalists are exempt from taxes, exempt from their own laws that they internationally create, uh, codify, and then get our dictatorial governments uh, of every major nation to certify. So we're going to be breaking all of this down today. Uh, Lou Rockwell of lewrockwell.com will be joining us via video Skype, and we'll take some of your calls as well in the third hour. And we are also going to have Pat Shannon on. He was going to be on a few weeks ago, but, but uh, there was so much breaking news, I moved him. Uh, I've known this guy for like 16 years, 17 years. Uh, and uh, an amazing investigative journalist. He's written a new book that I couldn't put down when I started reading it. Everything they ever told me was a lie, available at InfoWarsStore.com. And we're going to be going over uh, his book and a lot more uh, today uh, in the second hour. And we'll also have open phones then. Wow, where do I start? Where do I begin? There's been something really eating at me. And I've talked about it some, but not enough. And so we're going to do a series of investigative reports on this, just illustrating the fact for you. The facts are in, but we'll put it together in the reports. I'm going to talk about it today, but it almost doesn't do justice to it. It's like if I do a special report on the nightly news and then air it here, everyone pays attention to it and it like has some type of special gravitas. But if I'm just here going over the mountains of information, it tends to kind of fall on deaf ears sometimes. But there is no doubt, and it has been stated uh, that the government, for any reason, no judge, no jury, is not just planning to not let you travel outside the country or back into the country, vis-a-vis -vis, however they choose, or uh, take your bank accounts, but that the government is moving to not even let you travel within the country or have a job. In fact, I printed it last week and meant to get to it. I just type in Obama's new executive order. Uh, to seize bank accounts, it's, it's huge bombshell news. And see, I'm, I already know all this is coming. So what happens is I read this news, I confirm it, and then I don't even cover it a lot of the time because it, it's, it's, it's passe to me. Well, just because you know, you know that you're being taken uh, to the gallows uh, at 5 a.m. Uh, doesn't change the fact that you're being taken to the gallows. Uh, and our country is being walked to the gallows pole. And uh, I do not like it. So we're going to be going over just news of the last th couple days. This is just what I came in this morning and dug out of today's stack and the stack from over the weekend. Okay. This is just out of the stack from today. And, and, and when we come back, I'll mention some of the other news that's coming up today. It's a big news day. Very important news. AP, no fly list, trans man on island in Hawaii. Uh, I'm proud of the fact that uh, days before this last week, what, last Wednesday, and this came out on uh, on a Friday, um, it was uh, Doug Hagman who told us about this, and we got the guy on the show uh, repeatedly and were able to force it out. And now here's the AP days later admitting that because he's a prepper and because he complained about the NDAA online, well, now you just can't fly, bud. How's that sound? You're a U.S. citizen, no judge, no jury. No judge, no jury. And uh, he just is, you know, you're just, you're just disappeared. That's just the beginning. Now, here's Lou Rockwell. Why you need a passport now? They're moving to just deny Americans passports for no reasons. Uh, oh, the IRS, you're not going anywhere. Fox News. 
Senators unveil Expatriate Act to expand to Facebook's severance tax scheme. We're going to break down what life in America and the Western world will be like if we don't stop these authoritarians. That's why the TSA is at the heart of all this. Also, UN monitors are here to oversee the election. That and a lot more coming up. Cold and flu season is upon us. Protect yourself with Supernatural Silver, a revolutionary new broad-spectrum antibacterial. Recent advances in silver technology have resulted in a silver solution that can be used daily to prevent bacteria, viruses, mold, and food poisoning, as well as help improve wound healing. Silver Sol technology is safe enough to consume every day, while powerful enough to destroy the causes of many serious diseases, like strep throat, staph, pneumonia, colds, flus, and other harmful pathogens. This new technology is much more effective than colloidal or ionic silvers and has the ability to terminate entire colonies of harmful bacteria at several hundred times the effectiveness of older solutions. Supernatural Silver is what you need for any emergency. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com today and use the promo code ALEXSAYS for 20% off and like us on Facebook. If you want an American company with American products made by Americans, here is the Cal Ben Soap Company. Alex and his staff have used these pure soap products for years. These all-natural soaps are made from the highest quality vegetable and coconut oils that are earth-friendly and safe. See them on the web at 5starsoap.com or call 800-340-7091 for a free catalog. Buy the one to two month sample package and enjoy soaps that are twice as good as what you're using now. Or save big with a one to two year supply of soaps for all your cleaning needs. This is an amazing deal. You can save thousands of dollars and you will love the way real soap makes you feel. See them on the web at 5starsoap.com or call 800-340-7091 for a free catalog. The worst drought in 50 years continues, and the first six months of 2012 marks the hottest half year on record. 78% of the Midwest Corn Belt is in drought conditions. Not only corn, but soy, alfalfa, fruits, vegetables, and wheat are all impacted, raising prices. The cost to feed livestock is forcing farmers and ranchers out of business, blowing up your food prices. The only strategy to counter this is to freeze your food cost at today's prices by getting your own supply of foods from eFoods Direct now. As the price of raw ingredients increases, eFoods will have to raise prices too. Now is the time to get your supply. I recently increased my supply from eFoods Direct because we have all known this was coming. You know about their delicious long-term storable foods. The fact is you can eat at any time to save money today. And because it stores for 25 years, you're locking in today's prices and avoiding the rising food cost. Don't wait. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. Call 800-409-5633 or eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. You can bet your life on eFoods Direct. Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want to stop tyranny? Well, so does he. Live from the Infowars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Monday, the 22nd day of October 2012. And we are going to be here for the next three hours. Investigative journalist, author to cover a myriad of important issues and break some important news. Will be joining us in the second hour. Then Lou Rockwell, Ron Paul's former chief of staff, to give us his take on the differences between Puppet A and Puppet B. Barack Obama and, of course... Mitt Romney, uh, and I've, I've got a big stack of them here. Every scientific big poll, Gallup, uh, you name it, has uh, him now in a dead heat or three to five points ahead of Obama. And I went back and looked at it. I also found another article going over it from Gallup showing uh, their uh, polling over the last uh, two weeks. And, yeah, it shows him two weeks ago, uh, uh, Romney 49, Obama 47. And now you can just see it change the numbers up till now. 
uh, Obama 45, Romney 52, and that's what a bunch of other polls are showing. Now, now listen, don't 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 count your chickens before they're hatched if you like Romney, uh, because there's something called electronic voting fraud that has been proven to really be bad in more than 10 states. Uh, and uh, it varies county to county, but 10 states are, are really been certified to be full of fraud. Places like Ohio, Florida, uh, basically anywhere that's been a swing state before, uh, Iowa uh, in primaries, uh, California. Do not hold your breath, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and again, uh, it'll just mean a different management team from the New World Order if Romney gets in. Uh, Christian Science Monitor has an analysis out today saying that uh, Romney couldn't really have a tougher uh, Iran policy with sanctions and covert operations than Obama would. And that's really true from my research. Kurt Nemo, a day before that, an article out. Obama and Romney, war no matter who wins election. Well, yeah, people say, oh, Alex, where's this war? I don't know, Libya. I mean, no, they called it a peace action. Uh, Syria right now, uh, blowing up missile factories, blowing up military police bases on a weekly basis, assassinations inside Iran. Our media bragging uh, that uh, there's there's covert war going on. I mean, that's that's war. You know, when you're blowing up military bases in Iran, that's that's called a war. Just in case people didn't know, there's wars been going on for really three years, hot and heavy, but it's 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 starting to intensify. Uh, it's, it was kind of like on level five on the top of the stove. Now they turned it up to level ten. Uh, so it is uh, it, it is on high burn right now. The only question is, will it go into overdrive and turn it up to broil? Uh, so we're going to be breaking all that down. Also on the election, you to monitor conservative groups at U.S. polls. That's Melissa Melton, InfoWars.com. Uh, and it's also uh, in the Hill newspaper that covers Capitol uh, Hill. International monitors at U.S. polling spots draw criticism from voter fraud groups. And see, the U.N., it's the U.N. When you read it, it says it's the U.N., I mean, I mean, look, we told everybody the UN's starting to run our country more and more. Can we just be honest about it? Or does the media always have to say, oh, it's global governance, not government. Same thing, though. Or, oh, yeah, it's international monitors. Yeah, from the UN, but we're not going to say that in the headline because that sounds conspiratorial. I saw that Financial Times of London article, another one pushing world government a few months ago. And it's like, yeah, we don't want to be conspiracy theorists, but there is a global private corporate government and it knows best. And it's authoritarian, but don't listen to the conspiracy kooks that say there's a world government. So the message is, hey, there's a world government, get in line with it, or we're going to call you a conspiracy terrorist because the general public's dumbed down. That's what they're telling business readers. Yes, it's real, but you're not supposed to say it is. Well, the problem is uh, I'm not going to play along with it. Infowars.com, prisonplanet.com, uh, Matt Drudge at drudgereport.com and his... Uh, crew aren't going to go along with uh, the the, the, the so-called uh, establishment saying they're going to lecture us on reality. World Net Daily is not going to go along with it. Uh, many others aren't going to go along with it. You're not going to go along with it. And so they got a problem because we have inalienable rights. We're not slaves. And listen, I live in a city. We've done news reports showing the UN website where they brag. They call it a munialized UN model city, and, and the city of Austin has signed agreements and policy guidelines to even get international funds and designations. There, there's our city and one other Japanese city, you can look it up, that are the UN models of the world. And, 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 then, and then that Japanese city is our, um, is our sister city. So... Again, you can go watch Aaron Dykes and Melissa Melton's reports. They followed like three of them uh, in the last month. We should air those again. We did during the special 48-hour uh, broadcast. But the point is that it even hit me yesterday uh, driving along with my wife. And, and, I, and I just said, I've got to go on air and explain to people we're in occupied territory. And she goes, you've said that many times. But, I mean, I need to explain this is really happening. This is really going on. I mean, I'm not just saying deep behind enemy lines in, in, in captured FEMA Region 6. I, I live more than anybody else in the United States under the United Nations. We're going to do more reports on that. And every small town around Austin is in the process of being taken over. 
I mean, they'll go into small towns with 10,000 people in them and spend five, six, seven, eight million dollars a year in the last few years going in, buying the mayors, buying everybody, uh, pushing a referendum, putting armies of bureaucrats, knocking on doors, having town hall meetings, saying sign on to this. And then they just roll over and just take the land. I mean, you name it. I mean, it's incredible. But they do it in, in a limp-wristed, simpering NPR voice which is scientifically crafted under Delphi technique, we'll say to these people, you're Delphi trained, they'll start smiling. I've had them off record laugh at me and say, you're not gonna stop us. These are soldiers, folks. These are operatives. These are infiltrators. And they know it is the thing. I've been to smart growth conferences when the camera's off and had one of them just grab me by the shirt. Bankers, former Dallas Cowboy, you name it, they're all there. Bank of America, all of them. And they'll say, you don't ever aim that camera at me. You understand, you're not gonna stop anything we're doing. I mean, I mean, they know what they're doing. And uh, I mean, I've witnessed it. They're not naive folks, these are pirates. But 21st century pirates act all nice and, oh, hi everybody, oh, oh. I mean, it's a program. These are spies, these are operatives. And I don't know how I get this across to you that the fact that the general public reads the newspaper, you know, 23% of people read newspapers still, and then they think they're smart and that's a bunch of gobbledygook, or they tell the truth, but then lie by omission or frame things differently and say one thing is another. While incredible historic things are happening, we are now in occupied America by the globalists, by the banksters, and just type in banks declare they've conquered Europe or Goldman Sachs conquers Europe, or Goldman Sachs conquers Greece, or JP Morgan conquers the world, and you'll get Forbes and Reuters and AP and all of it. And Davos, Switzerland, I mean, they announced two years ago, year and a half ago, the Davos before last, they said, we're gonna have a world government with 100 trillion funding us of carbon taxes, and it will be funded into our systems. And even if the carbon taxes fail, we're gonna have a new global currency. We're not gonna get rid of the other currencies. We're just gonna devalue them until you beg for the new strategic drawing right. Guys, just type in 100 trillion Davos, 100 trillion needed for credit system. 100 trillion, 100 trillion, where the mega bank of Europe, you know, the, the ECB of Europe it is the world government now. They, in their own words, Herman von Rumpy, all of them have bragged about it. He left as the head of the EU and went to be the head of that. Uh, they're all there in front of everyone announcing world government. And I'm sitting here going, they're announcing world government. There it is, London Telegraph. World needs 100 trillion more credits, says World Economic Forum. 63 trillion pounds given to them. And what's the date on that? I know it was uh, 2011, it'll be right there. January 18, 2011, as I said, a little over a year and a half ago. And you can go, they got links to the video in there last time I read that article. I mean, this is, this is not my opinion. By the way, I've been listening to syndicated and local talk radio a lot when I'm out jogging and things. I heard WOAI last Friday when I was taking a break jogging. Uh, when I left here, the big talk station into San Antonio, one of the big ones, saying it's terrible that our government's backing Al Qaeda in Libya and Syria. And this morning, I heard uh, on News Radio 590 them them admit and go, "Yo, it's true. Our government runs Al Qaeda, and it's terrible." <laughs> so, look, we can get this info out there. I know it, it doesn't compute with the normal. It's like, well, the government runs Al Qaeda. Well, then. Well, then why are they trying to take our liberties? Because it was always a bait and switch. It was always meant to be a bait and switch. And you've got to come to grips with it. I mean, I've been at these smart growth conferences and things, and I've had people come over who are in the city and literally look around when nobody's around while I'm by the water fountain and bump into me and say, I'm going to kill you. And you look at them and you're like, you're gonna kill me? Yeah, I'm a Marine, I know how to kill you. Well, okay, go, go ahead and try. You better hope I don't see you coming, buddy. And just because you get me doesn't mean people aren't gonna come for you. But you think my family's gonna roll over to somebody putting a hole in me? 
I may not be anything compared to my Texas ancestors, but you mess with me, you better believe people are coming for you. That's another reason I'm still alive. All right, we'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Stay with us. I'm going to get into the biggest news, and then I'm going to get into the economy, war. Yeah, I've got something to say about Lance Armstrong. I'm going to get into Russell Means dead. God rest his soul. He's gone on to the happy hunting ground. Stay with us. The worst drought in 50 years continues, and the first six months of 2012 marks the hottest half year on record. 78% of the Midwest Corn Belt is in drought conditions. Not only corn, but soy, alfalfa, fruits, vegetables, and wheat are all impacted, raising prices. The cost to feed livestock is forcing farmers and ranchers out of business, blowing up your food prices. The only strategy to counter this is to freeze your food cost at today's prices by getting your own supply of foods from eFoods Direct now. As the price of raw ingredients increases, eFoods will have to raise prices too. Now is the time to get your supply. I recently increased my supply from eFoods Direct because we have all known this was coming. You know about their delicious long-term storable foods. The fact is you can eat at any time to save money today. And because it stores for 25 years, you're locking in today's prices and avoiding the rising food cost. Don't wait. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. Call 800-409-5633 or eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. You can bet your life on eFoods Direct. Would it save you time to get the best quality water filters and the best quality storable foods from one company? You bet it would, and now you can at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. Big Berkey water filter products and great-tasting, long-lasting, storable, wise foods are both now available on one website, BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. Wise foods, ready-to-eat meals are packed in airtight nitrogen pouches and come with a 25-year shelf life. Big Berkey water filters are powerful enough to purify treated, untreated, or even stagnant pond water. Combine Berkey water filters with Wise Foods for an unbeatable preparedness combination. Get free shipping on every order over $50. And GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit big, B-E-R-K-E-Y, waterfilters.com or call 877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Or go to bigberkeywaterfilters.com. HempUSA.org has moved and expanded its operations for faster worldwide shipping. Our product line has grown from 5 to nearly 100 items in less than 5 years. Our food is grown naturally, always chemical free, not found in stores. Great for daily intake and perfect for your emergency storage shelter. Call 908-691-2608 or visit HempUSA.org and see what our powders, seeds and oil can do for you. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit, then carting to a private bank, having it lent back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Hi, Ted Anderson. I'm placing a silver dollar in a book explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Big business has discovered the preparedness market, and that makes it difficult to know where to go and who to trust. MyPatriotSupply.com is owned and operated by patriots just like you, has the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more. MyPatriotSupply.com has old-fashioned values and the absolute best customer service in the industry. Look for the deal of the day, unique affordable survival survival supplies that fit anyone's budget. Get same-day shipping on all orders and free shipping on orders over $49. Call 866-229-0927, 866-229-0927, or visit MyPatriotSupply.com for emergency preparedness, self-reliance, and food independence. Shop with a name you know and a name you can trust. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. The Genesis Communications Radio Network proudly presents The Alex Jones Show Because there's a war on for your mind Well, Obama is now on record and the media is starting to pick it up He wants to not only ban rifles but also handguns 
and put citizens extrajudicially on a list and just take your guns. No judge, no jury, no nothing. Just, well, you're on a no-fly list. You're also on a no-buy list. And, the, and, and again, 10 years ago, I was watching C-SPAN for more than an hour and a half, and they had a TSA. Governor Ridge was there. He hadn't even gotten cabinet position yet for Homeland Security, newly formed by the executive. And they had all these tables together with all these corporate CEOs there. And they said at that meeting that in the future, you will have to have TSA, Homeland Security, authorization to have a job anywhere. And that they would start in critical infrastructure, computers, ports, and fan out from there. And now you can go look at literally tens of millions of Americans, uh, people that do you know service on trucks at national parks, uh, people that work in mining, people that work in basically every area are told, you got to go get a certification. Doesn't matter your background check came back from Homeland Security. And then they just put a block on you. And you see, this is the essence of tyranny. Every authoritarian system makes you have a paper that's stamped and certified that you're in good standing with them. And then if you're not a good globalist, if you're not a good Nazi, if you're not a good communist, if you're, if you're not a good Roman, if you weren't a good Aztec, whatever the case was, you weren't allowed. In, in England, in the Middle Ages, also in Europe, they had laws about what you could wear, certain colors, because they didn't have to have checkpoints. If you had a bunch of finery and diamonds and were wearing purple or scarlet, uh, then you were just, boom, access wherever you went. You were known by your horse, you were known by, and you could be executed in ancient England if you were wearing a knight sword and were not a certified knight. And if you didn't have all the secret passcodes, and that's where secret societies come from, the Masons, all of that. And that's what happens here. Well, now if you, they just turn your face scan off, your, 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 your thumb printing off, and they know it's gonna be a giant chilling effect. You serve the system, you're going to be left alone. It's now been in the news, and I've interviewed some of the Marines and people they've done this to. Because they always want soldiers to infiltrate groups and basically set them up or be set up themselves. That you get put on a no-fly list when you have no criminal record. They always target people that they know are salesmen and folks that have to be able to fly. And they call you in six months later. They've got a formula when you're basically bankrupt. And they say, listen, we're going to pay you the money back and everything. You've just got to work for us now in InfraGuard. And, and we may never ask you to do anything. But we may ask you to kill people. That's come out in the news about InfraGuard. Or we may ask you to go set people up. Now, we're going to pay you. We're going to pay the money you've lost from being on the no-fly list. I mean, this is what they do. This is how they induct people. And a lot of people get scared. And they go, well, you're FBI. I, 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 okay, you're ATF. Well, all right, I'll do whatever. And And then, you know. A couple years down the road, if they find out you're doing things like they want, you're taking over the pure dark side of government, which is now bigger than the light side. Many experts like Joel Skousen break down, and I agree with his analysis. And, I mean, if you'll do anything, you're, you're going to be a drug dealer. Or if you'll go, you'll be a killer. Or if you'll go even further, it's unlimited. I went and saw loopers last night, and I'm going to get more into this big, big issue of not being able to travel out the country or come back in if they want we come back from break, I went and saw it. It's a real subtle movie uh, with Bruce Willis. Uh, very, very well done. And in the future, the United States is run by the mafia. And subtly, it shows that the police, by the end, that the mafia is in a police station. And they've actually got cops in blue that you see at the end that, that are working for the mafia. And the police chief is the gangster mafia chief sent from the future uh, spoiler alert, obviously, uh, living in a vault inside the building. And the United States is fully collapsed because of corruption, and China is now the center of the world government. But there is a, still a Second Amendment, so everybody's shooting and killing each other, and more than half the population is homeless. That's actually Agenda 21. But they plan to fully convert the police over. Oh, and it's even more realistic. Low-level cops aren't allowed to have weapons then mid-level are allowed to have a single-shot shotgun, and the higher-ups have automatic weapons and everything else. That's actually State Department memorandum and uh, uh, common law, uh, U.S. law, 
7277, State Department Memorandum 7277 and uh, UN Treaty that we've covered here before. It, it says the general cops are going to be disarmed and just have tasers. I, I mean, that movie, if you, that is predictive programming. Either they're pure New World Order or it was there to condition us or they were good guys that got this out. Of course, even if they're good guys, they were just allowed to put it out to still condition people. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Some big news straight ahead. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Aaron Fullen here. As the food police shut down food co-ops, the Amish and small farmers, Americans are losing access, not just to raw milk and homemade cheeses, but to healthy home-crafted sources for fermented foods like sauerkraut, yogurt, and kefir. It seems there's a war on life-giving foods with living enzymes and healthy bacteria. But frankly, I'm not sure what the food police are so afraid of. These remarkable foods have been around since the beginning of history, with archaeological evidence for fermented foods and beverages being found across the globe in almost every culture. Even today, Japanese eat miso, Africans eat fermented porridges, Koreans eat kimchi, and in India, fermented milk is a staple for healthy living. But here's some good news. Self-reliant Americans can now discover the secrets to making these amazing fermented foods legally and privately in their own homes. Since it's still legal to make these foods as long as you can make them yourself. For more information, check out fermentationfactor.com. That's fermentationfactor.com. It's easy to create your own powerful fermented foods, and you can do it by going to www.fermentationfactor.com. That's www.fermentationfactor.com. The Silver Lungs Generator is the only all-encompassing professional class product for producing endless colloidal and ionic silver solutions right from the convenience of your home. With recent regulations threatening the sale of silver-based supplements, now you can secure yourself and your family by producing your own silver solutions anywhere, anytime. You can have the peace of mind knowing that you can create endless supply of silver anytime, anywhere, for any application. The Silver Lungs Generator is a one-time purchase that requires no maintenance nor replacement parts for the life of the unit. This product was designed to be an invaluable part of your vital preparations. For a detailed report on the differences between ionic silver, colloidal silver, and what most silver solution manufacturers are producing, please visit our website at www.silverlungs.com for more information on why you should be producing your own silver solutions right from your home forever. Sick of the globalist eugenicist control freaks adding poison to your water and laughing as you get sick and die? Start purifying your water with ProPure. My friends, I've done a lot of research, and the best gravity filter out there, bar none, is ProPure. And it's available discounted at InfoWars.com. Its filters are silver impregnated to prevent bacterial growth. There's no priming required. It's NSF 42 certified. Optional fluoride filters can reduce fluoride up to 95%. Easy to set up and use. Doesn't require Require electricity, purify water from lakes, streams, ponds, and wells. This filter system leaves in beneficial minerals, which is key. Save money by not buying bottled water and avoid BPA that leaches from the plastic. ProPure is the best gravity-fed filter out there. It's what my family uses. Infowars.com already has the lowest price on ProPure. But if you add the promo code WATER at checkout, you get an additional 10% off at Infowars.com. You can also call to order 888-253-3139. The answer to 1984 is 1776. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Hangman, hangman, hold it a little while. I think I see my friends coming right a many a mile. My friends, you get some silver, but you get a little gold. We are back live, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone ends up being taken to the gallows pole. Death is part of life, and it is what unifies us all, life and death. All of us will taste of death. Russell Means uh, died over the weekend. American Indian activist actor dies at 72. He, uh, he was supposed to die like a year ago of cancer, but... Uh, beat it with natural means, then it came back metastasized. Uh, Russell Means uh, never shunned attention, whether uh, leading Native Americans in rallying against broken federal treaties, appearing in Hollywood blockbusters, or advocating sovereign American Indian nation with U.S. borders. 
The activist who helped lead the 1973 uprising at Wounded Knee revealed, uh, reveled in the spotlight. I love how they, uh, in this uh, AP article, you know, imply he was an attention whore. How about being in there for weeks uh, in Wounded Knee when they were pouring tens of thousands of bullets uh, into it? And again, I don't agree with some of the things that Russell Means promoted 20, 30 years ago. But more and more, he was speaking out against the New World Order, against socialism, against collectivism. He understood it was eugenics-based. He said Obama was bad four years ago. Uh, he had a lot of courage. And we did a big hour-long plus mini documentary with him that uh, he said was, he thought, the best you know, sit-down interview he ever did. He was very, very proud of it. Uh, it was called Welcome to the Reservation. It's free online. It's posted in high def at prisonplanet.tv. Uh, and uh, he is uh, you know, now dead. So uh, Russell Means, who gained international notoriety, is one of the leaders of the 71-day armed occupation of Wounded Knee in South Dakota in 1973 and continued to be an outspoken champion of the American Indian rights after launching a career in action, an actor in films and television in 1990, has died. He's also a great actor, great presence. Uh, and there's just a lot of haters and a lot of people that were jealous and envious of Russell Means uh, and the fact that he actually spoke his mind. And the left turned against him in the last 15 years because he began to understand that socialism and communism was a system of enslavement and, and uh, eugenics to control people and destroy them. And he, he started speaking about that and exposing that. And uh, so the left started attacking him as well as the fake right. Uh, so uh, happy trails, buddy. Uh, there in the happy hunting ground. I guess we'll all end up there if we're lucky enough instead of the other place. So God bless you. And uh, tonight on the Nightly News, we're going to air the originals, like a, over a year and a half old. Uh, welcome to the reservation after the news. Uh, but first, we'll air my last interview with him. What was that, about six months ago? Uh, it, was, it was about six months ago from the Nightly News as well. That's tonight, 7 o'clock Central. The main news portion tonight will be David Knight. Does a fabulous job. And then we'll uh, uh, air that. By the way, we said we were going to air some Bob Chapman during the 48-hour broadcast. Ever did that? I do in the future want to do a rebroadcast someday on a holiday or something with nothing but Bob Chapman and then me telling stories and leading it in and out as a tribute. Because we, we need to not just forget people that have died, myself included. We're so busy with our own daily lives uh, that interesting people that have contributed to humanity, even though they agree with everything they said, they had courage. They had guts and that was enough. We need to remember these people. Uh, not just remember all the fake sports icons and things the globalists build up so they can tear them down. And I want to talk about how they can try to control heroes um, a little bit uh, towards the end of the hour after I get into some more of the news uh, that is uh, coming up. Okay, let me uh, just give you some of the headlines before I get back into the domestic checkpoints uh, that are not coming. They're already here. But, but what life will be like uh, here in America? Let me just get into some of the other Headlines here. Eugenics and education. Healthy boy banned from public school due to genetic makeup. Uh, an 11, and, and this has been covered by Fox News, you name it. An 11-year-old California schoolboy named Coleman Chatham has been banished from his school and forced to transfer to another school because he carries the genetic mutation for cystic fibrosis. It's not communicable. It's not a, you know, it's a genetic disorder. Uh, and uh, it's not even manifesting, but they say you've got to go to our special school. And you notice the special schools are getting in some areas as big as the regular schools because they're the vaccines, the drugs, the chemicals, the bad diets. More and more of the kids are going to have problems. The school gets more money. So why do they even know his genetic makeup? Well, they take your blood at birth. People are going to get genetic testing now, you've noticed. And, and, and they'll say, oh, we have a genetic treatment for you. We can probably cure your cancer or whatever it is. But... Oh, yeah, they got a blood sample from you sometime in your life. This company patented your particular blood DNA. That's not a joke. Look that up. And sorry, the treatment's going to cost a million dollars now. <laughs> well, it's going to cost 20000 I mean, just type that in. Court rules that you don't own your DNA. Okay, they're just doing whatever they want. So uh, there it is. What we're seeing here is the beginning of the application of eugenics in public schools. This is how it starts, banning little boys and girls because of bad gene sequence, even though they have absolutely no symptoms and are living in a state of perfect health. Well, what do they want to go to that school? Next, it progresses to 
racially uh, genetic profiling with declaration that people have certain races are genetically inferior. That already happens in Endgame. We have in state board hearings in the legislature. They say, why do you drug 69% of kids? And they go, they have bad gene pools. No test is done. They're black. <laughs> Just, you can't make this up. And therefore, unable to be taught in public schools will be told. And from there, as history has shown, it moves to the eugenics phase. That's right. We're, now they say they're going to drug all the kids. Uh, total nightmare. And uh, Mike Adams at naturalnews.com. It's also up at infowars.com. Links through to Fox News, Daily Mail, HBO, Bill Maher saying just kill everybody. You know, he's pro-death. Uh, yeah, very nice people. Uh, India may ban GMO crop field trials for 10 years. But that's okay. Um, because um, now six largest pesticide corporations funding effort to try to defeat GMO labeling Proposition 37. Because you shouldn't be able to know if something's had a bunch of high-tech pesticides sprayed on it or low-tech like fluoride, sodium fluoride. You shouldn't be allowed to know that in America. No, you shouldn't be allowed to know that. Uh, that's another report uh, in that area. Pesticide can be the culprit in bee drop-off. New big study out on that. University study, flu vaccine effectiveness claims are wildly exaggerated. And um, it only helped people 1.5% of the time when the study was looked at by the University of Minnesota. And that's even using the cooked data they had. Uh, the flu shot actually lowers your immunity. That's been proven in so many studies it makes my head spins. Another great SD Wells story at Natural News. Side effects of GMOs. Ask your doctor, is cancer right for you? Excellent article up at InfoWars.com and NaturalNews.com. Pesticide food timeline. And it uh, goes over the Nazis and everything else. You might want to go read that. Or maybe ask your doctor if organ failure is good for you, is right for you. Uh, study says children with ADHD like taking antipsychotic drugs. That's right. They put out a new study saying, hey, and it's good for them once you get them on Ritalin to put them on Prozac. They like it. Well, yeah. What are they? Five to seven to ten, depending on the study, they're more likely to being drug addicts when you ever put them on any of this. Well, of course, they're getting them young. Got to fight drugs. I mean, dare to stay off drugs unless they're big pharma's deadly drugs. Uh, also, a lot of reports out today pushing that there's going to be a cyber digital 9-11. Yep, just as soon as Cybersecurity Command is in place to take over, it will then launch the attack or launch the attack through puppets they covertly hire. Who don't, who don't even know they've been hired, later bust those puppets uh, as a way to totally take over the web. And I'm now hearing radio ads about under the new compliance rules, you must save all your email for years and have federally approved IT people. You could go to jail if you don't. Check this federal website to find out. It's, it's already begun. It's all, all being phased in here. We're spying on you. Better love it. Uh, great video from KXII that we'll get to later when Pat Shannon uh, is uh, on with us. 12-year-old exercises Second Amendment. When I saw the door handle turn, I shot him. More and more children are protecting themselves with firearms in the system. Absolutely hates it. Don't you wish somebody at that Wisconsin spa where the angry boyfriend went in and shot people had been armed? But no, it was a bunch of disarmed women. I love how the feminists say women shouldn't own guns. I thought you wanted women empowered. Oh, I see. You really don't. So we're going to be getting uh, into all of that as well. Again, UN monitors to control our elections. It'll be overseeing them, but 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 not overseeing for electronic institutional government fraud, not 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 comptroller fraud, not not uh, CEO fraud, not the big industrial fraud. No, they're going to be there making sure the illegal aliens can vote not once, not twice, but thrice. As Democratic operatives have been recorded saying, yes, we'll teach you how to vote repeatedly. That's all coming out. By the way, what was it, a CBS News channel? I had it here in my stack. I'll get to it. Uh, here it is. CBS News affiliate calls 2012 presidential race for Barack Obama weeks ahead of election. And, th and this continues to happen sometimes on the night of the event. What was it, ABC in 96 flashed the exact voting totals hours before for the entire country up on screen and then didn't even change it later to still put it up. The 2012 presidential election is still more than two weeks away, but on Friday... A CBS News affiliate in Arizona 
called the race for President Barack Obama. That's the Daily Caller reports. For 17 seconds, Phoenix, Arizona, CBS News, KPHO, ran a lower third graphic that showed the Obama had won the November 6th election over Governor Mitt Romney with 99% of the precincts reporting. The lower third graphic appeared at 3.30 p.m. on October 19th during an episode of the People's Court. Got that a little, little too. Conklin, they said they'd already blown up Building 7. They said it had already fallen its own footprint an hour before it happened and then 25 minutes before and the reporters are... It fell in its own footprint from fires. Everyone's sur surprised that the complete collapse uh, hadn't happened yet. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. Go in there. <laughs> oh, very loving. Uh, the CBS News uh, graphic showed Obama winning the election with 43% of the vote nationwide to Romney's 40%. With uh, 40 million, uh, 237,000 votes to 38 million and change for Romney. It is unclear who garnered the other 70% in the fictional election results. KPHO's general manager did not return the Daily Caller's request for comment uh, by the time of publication. So uh, there you go from the Daily Caller uh, reporting on that. Okay, uh, let's just continue here now. Now, I want everybody to listen to me very, very carefully. I want to explain to you what life in this country and in, and, and in every industrialized nation is going to be like. And this isn't my opinion. This is the stated facts by Homeland Security, uh, by MI5 in England, and by the EU, uh, quote, security services, who all meet and have all integrated their programs. That's why they got naked body scanners going in Europe. Same ones here. It's continuity of agenda. It's a global corporate agenda that is then handed down to the North American Union, the EU, and the Asian Union, which are all open and publicly operating. And, and deciding everything from the color of street signs uh, down to... Uh, what the world reserve currency will be, it's all been standardized. I want to read to you a few headlines and then tie them in together, okay? This is just in the last few days. AP, no fly list trans man on island in Hawaii because he was a prepper and, well, a threat fusion center said you got a website or he's been seen talking about prepping. No violence, no nothing. You're not allowed to fly, okay? That's it. We told you about that days before it broke. Um, the Northeast Intelligence Network got him on for us. Uh, okay, Lou Rockwell reports why you need a passport now. And it links to all the mainstream news saying that you are not going to be allowed to have a passport if they feel like it. They're just going to deny you and not say why. No judge, no jury. So... Uh, there's uh, no fly list that they're talking about. We can document cam shot right in here. Right in here is now the document cam shot sector. You can just keep the camera aimed right there, and uh, we'll show people that right there. So again, right here, um, no fly list, strands man on island in Hawaii. And, and if you're talking about document cams and our radio listener, we're streaming video of this at prisonplanet.tv. There's this report. Why you need a passport now? At a future point, it may be impossible to get one. Paperspleased.org reports on what the State Department is planning for future passport applicants. The new U.S. passport application forms are back worse than ever, ignoring massive public opposition. And despite having recently admitted there is already using the proposed forms illegally without approval, the State Department is trying again to get approval for a pair of impossible-to-complete new passport application forms that would, in effect, allow the State Department to deny you a passport simply by choosing to send you either of the long forms. And it goes over the new rules asking who the doctor was that delivered you, who the nurse was, everything, with proof. You have to get hire a private investigator to be able to get this, okay? Meanwhile, illegal aliens are all just given them instantly, uh, are all legalized everywhere. People say, oh, we need internal checkpoints for the illegals. The illegals are left alone. This whole internal system is for you. So again, people stranded can't fly because they're a prepper. Told that, told you shouldn't have criticized the NDAA on this blog. You're not flying by, by, by weirdo TSA people who are now going to be on the streets. Here's Fox News right here. Oh, the IRS, you're not going anywhere. A 
bill making its way through Congress could allow the federal government to prevent Americans who owe back taxes from leaving the country. No judge, no jury, no adjudication. Private collection agency for the private Federal Reserve. There it is. Okay. You've got that right there. Here's another one. This is ABC News. Senators to unveil Expatriate Act to respond to Facebook's severance tax scheme. Paid his taxes, left the country. All the elites are running to places like uh, Singapore. And this is all selectively enforced, though. Now, little people try to get their legal money out. They're not letting people get 100 thou out that's after tax money. And they say these are capital controls. This is what always happens. Nazi Germany, Soviet Russia, Maoist China, Fidel's Cuba, uh, Hugo Chavez's uh, Venezuela. Go look at North Korea. Go look at any authoritarian country. This is the hallmark because they're going to not let you get your money out and they're going to take everything you've got. And they mean business. And so what if hundreds of thousands of police die in a civil war? They call them cannon fodder. They call them dumb, dumb animals, as Henry Kissinger called them. And a lot of them will line up and die taking you and your family to a FEMA camp because they like being called dumb animals. Now, let's continue here. Let's go right. But this is authoritarianism. This is Red Dawn takeover. We've been occupied. They're trying to mop up free speech right now and shut us down. You better recognize the attack. Okay? Continuing. I've got a bunch of other articles uh, here in my stack uh, dealing with all of this that we're going to be going uh, over and how it ties in with the TSA <coughs> straight ahead. But, but you need to understand, the airport is what every place is going to be like. Street corner, the mall, you're not going to have a job unless they say so. Buy nor sell, face scanning to buy and sell. Aaron Fullen here. As the food police shut down food co-ops, the Amish and small farmers, Americans are losing access, not just to raw milk and homemade cheeses, but to healthy home-crafted sources for fermented foods like sauerkraut, yogurt, and kefir. It seems there's a war on life-giving foods with living enzymes and healthy bacteria. But frankly, I'm not sure what the food police are so afraid of. These remarkable foods have been around since the beginning of history, with archaeological evidence for fermented foods and beverages being found across the globe in almost every culture. Even today, Japanese eat miso, Africans eat fermented porridges, Koreans eat kimchi, and in India, fermented milk is a staple for healthy living. But here's some good news. Self-reliant Americans can now discover the secrets to making these amazing fermented foods legally and privately in their own homes. Since it's still legal to make these foods as long as you can make them yourself. For more information, check out fermentationfactor.com. That's fermentationfactor.com. It's easy to create your own powerful fermented foods, and you can do it by going to www.fermentationfactor.com. That's www.fermentationfactor.com. That's what it sounds like when a burglar kicks in the door of a dark house that looks like no one is home. Don't let your home be the next target. Make it look like someone is home watching television with fake TV. Fake TV is a small electronic device that makes the same light as a real television. So from outside, it looks like someone is home watching TV. Fake TV plugs in just like a lamp on a timer, but is far more convincing to burglars. Fake TV deters burglars, costs far less than an alarm, and is highly recommended by numerous police departments. Use it anytime you're away from home. To order your fake TV for only $34.95, go to faketv.com or call 1-877-5-FAKE-TV. Each additional fake TV is only $29.95. So get one for you and one for a loved one for safety, security, and peace of mind for both of you. Call 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. FakeTV.com, the burglar deterrent. What do you do when your propane runs out and you don't have a large amount of wood for cooking? That's when you need a Grover Rocket Stove from StockStorage.com. The Grover Rocket Stove starts easily with any combustible material like junk mail, small twigs, leaves, weeds, or dry sagebrush. Then just add a small amount of kindling wood and you'll be cooking entire meals in minutes. Grover Rocket Stoves are made right here in the USA and are built to last a lifetime using heavy-duty thick-gauge steel and are painted with high-temp paint to withstand heat. Go to StockStorage.com and see three great Grover Rocket Stoves, stainless steel, heavy-duty, or our original Grover Rocket Stove for only $135 and get free shipping to the lower 48. For phone orders, call 801-361-6984 or go to StockStorage.com. That's 801-361-6984 or StockStorage.com. The original Grover Rocket Stove Minimal Wood Use Cooking Stoves, available exclusively from StockStorage.com.
But like I said, again, Alex Jones back here live. Thank you for joining us on this Monday edition. This is not my opinion. This is an authoritarian takeover worldwide where they're going to come in your house without warrants. They're going to taser you for no reason. They're going to take blood at checkpoints. It's already started. They're going to make you eat GMO. They're going to force inoculations on you. It's all been announced. They're going to drug all children like THX 1138. Uh, all children will be drugged. The food's already drugged. The water's already drugged. Uh, and uh, they will start just killing people whenever they want on the streets. Uh, drones and blimps will be tethered over every major city. Uh, and uh, people will start dying. You think 3,000% increases in cancer? How about 10,000, 20,000? And they're just going to start killing everybody. I mean, I guess that's kind of the good news is that uh, once they get this post-industrial system rolling, most people are going to be dead. If the globalists actually implement all this, remember, there's the good track of history and the bad track. The bad guys are always trying to do this. They want to get rid of freedom because it, it, they can't realize their great dreams of total power. It's a paradox uh, that they can't have total power uh, if they don't totally enslave. Even though it ruins the world for them, to them it's beautiful, so they don't mind it, even if they're destroyed by it. It's like a lot of criminals like to rob and rape and kill because it's fun. It's just not the money. It's that that's what they're into. They think that's cool. Uh, and so they've warped society. Torture is good. Secret arrest is good. The family's bad. Hurting your body is cool. This is a society begging for enslavement. And you will get it. You will get it. Do not worry. You're going to have a horrible time, everybody. Uh, and people will just further get into the sports, get into the drama, all of it. Uh, so I'm going to cover this more with Pat Shannon, but a few of the articles here. Again, senators unveil expatriate act where you can't come back to the country if you leave the country with even legal money. Oh, the IRS, you're not going anywhere. Fox News won't let you leave. They're not going to let you operate domestically, they've said as well. No fly list strands manned on island in Hawaii because he was, quote, a prepper, they told him. Now AP confirms what we told you last week. Uh, why you need a passport now? They're set to make you answer questions that are impossible to answer, and they say they'll just start denying them. We already have less passports in the U.S. than any other country uh, in the world, uh, Americans do. Um, the, they want to keep that going on. Uh, Wall Street Journal, wary Swiss banks shun Yanks. You want to put a little money back in the safest banking system in the world? Have your own debit card over here? Used to be UBSs all over the U.S. They're leaving. Because now the U.S. is going in saying, hey, we're going to take over your banks. It's not the U.S. It's the mega bankers. Dutch Royal Shell, BP, Bank of America, Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan, Google, uh, General Electric. You've all heard they pay zero or maybe up to 5% tax because they're all exempt. It's people trying to put a million dollars in a Swiss bank account of the Caymans. You're not going to do it. It doesn't matter if it's legal. The IRS is going to take what you got out of that bank account and give it to the bankers to put it back in the same bank account. When Scott Smith uh, finally got his Swiss passport last month, it was time for him to take the drastic step. See, they know Americans are leaving, folks, because this ain't land of the free home of the brave. It's land of the pot belly control freak working for foreign bankers. See, he tried to run to where the mega banks are based in many cases. Oh, well, that's for them to be safe, not for you. <laughs> You're going to stay here and everything you got taken. We're gonna, maybe the globals put you in a ditch and <laughs> take care of you and take everything you got, boy. Hey, you, you might be bad. Among the reasons was a pending U.S. regulation, pending, aimed at tracking, uh, tracking down tax cheats that is making life difficult for some Americans abroad. These expatriates say the foreign banks which have expressed concern over compliance costs and potential uh, penalties for failing to report the American clients are turning away their business. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no. You're an American? Uh, your Fuhrer doesn't let you leave. No, 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 no. The long arm of the New World Order. See, the globalists have captured America. Now they're using it to capture everybody else. And I got another big stack of news here on this. So that's the future. The TSA shooting you in the back of the head in a ditch and taking your wife and children away for re-education. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. 
Aaron Fullen here. As the food police shut down food co-ops, the Amish and small farmers, Americans are losing access, not just to raw milk and homemade cheeses, but to healthy home-crafted sources for fermented foods like sauerkraut, yogurt, and kefir. It seems there's a war on life-giving foods with living enzymes and healthy bacteria. But frankly, I'm not sure what the food police are so afraid of. These remarkable foods have been around since the beginning of history, with archaeological evidence for fermented foods and beverages being found across the globe in almost every culture. Even today, Japanese eat miso, Africans eat fermented porridges, Koreans eat kimchi, and in India, fermented milk is a staple for healthy living. But here's some good news. Self-reliant Americans can now discover the secrets to making these amazing fermented foods legally and privately in their own homes. Since it's still legal to make these foods as long as you can make them yourself. For more information, check out fermentationfactor.com. That's fermentationfactor.com. It's easy to create your own powerful fermented foods, and you can do it by going to www.fermentationfactor.com. That's www.fermentationfactor.com. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. That was not hyperbole if you just uh, were listening in the last segment. That's what they're training. The Explorer Scouts, the Yugen, the last five, six years. That's what they're training the police, the military, the lockdown cities, go door to door and face scan people off their driver's license photos and put people that don't submit to the system. If you're on a no-fly list for being a prepper, you're going to go to a forced labor camp. And that's what they've got in the civilian inmate labor camp program. Just type in civilian inmate labor camp program. It's the Army runs it. They've primed it with federal and state prisoners. They've got them all trained. You're going to go to a forced labor camp. Because, see, that's about the governing class and the bankers having real power. You're going to a forced labor camp. You know, George Soros helped hunt down his fellow Jews in Romania and identify them and take their money. And, uh, you know, the globalists here today are saying we're going to have capital controls. Uh, I've seen people with a couple silver coins drug out of line, you know, on the airplane uh, at the airport. Uh, this is the system. This is what they're doing. This is what they're pushing. And this is what they have planned. And they're setting it up where getting everybody used to the checkpoints and you get there and they say, come in an interrogation room. And then, you know, mom and the kids or whatever are sitting over there on the bench. And uh, they're like, okay, uh, your husband's been taken in. Uh, he's being detained. Uh, and uh, you're being sent somewhere uh, for observation. So get on that truck. And uh, if you and your kids cry, they're going to taser you and beat your brains out. <laughs> That's what they signed up for. And uh, you're gone, and, and your husband's taken off and shot in the back of the head. Or used for medical experiments or whatever the case is. I mean, Jack Bauer gets tough on terrorists. I mean, you know. The Army tortures people's kids in front of them in Abu Ghraib. That came out in the Army report. So that's all meant to come back here. And, 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 and that's what the system just can't wait to do. So they're going to take your bank account. They're going to take your farm. They're going to take everything you got. And they're going to collapse society, and they're going to implement all this unless we stop them. You see, those of you that work for the system are hearing this, and you know you're training for all this. You know that uh, people are being hired who absolutely love to, to uh, hurt innocent people, and this is what they're going to do. And the founders gave us the Second Amendment as an emergency backup to protect ourselves. Now, there are a lot of police that realize we are in a tyranny, and they're waking up. But we talk a lot about the police because... You're going to be commanded by the federal brown shirts that are uh, going to consist of a TSA stew of um, malcontents, perverts, and basic robbers who are pleading guilty everywhere. Some of them are stealing a million dollars a year out of your bags. Uh, yeah, we got a bunch of footage of people in wheelchairs, and they say on tape, get up. Person goes, I'm a quadriplegic. You can totally tell these people, you know, have just, you know, no muscle structure. And they're like, I can't, I don't walk, I've got tubes in my neck. And they just go, okay, we're going we're gonna to beat your bed and you know, break all your bones. You know, when you've been uh, paralyzed from the neck down like that or from the chest down in the case of the video we're showing, and people throw you on the ground, uh, in that case, that guy broke a whole bunch of bones. 
And it's like, hey, you can't walk? You're paralyzed? Hey, how about this? <laughs> yeah! Down with freedom. Down with honor. Down with all protections of everybody's bank accounts and everybody's future and your children. Now the Constitution is burning up in front of us and through the holes that have been burned. It's just sore at all the vicious criminals and control freaks that have just wreaked havoc. Their spirit has wreaked havoc across the ages. And now they're going to get to gut America and Europe and they're going to take everything. They're going to take all your bank accounts. And they love it if you quit your job and just shut down good, starve to death. They'll use the hordes of starving people as the excuse to take everything. It's the great reorganization, the great Soviet culling, like the Ukrainians were called. The great orgy of blood and death and murder that Lenin loved so much. His own enforcers would come back, TSA types, and say, we've killed or imprisoned half the town. What do we do now? No one's resisting. Go ahead and kill the other groups. Murder. And they said, what do you want? And he said, I want more blood. 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 Alex Jones. Cold and flu season is upon us. Protect yourself with Supernatural Silver, a revolutionary new broad-spectrum antibacterial. Recent advances in silver technology have resulted in a silver solution that can be used daily to prevent bacteria, viruses, mold, and food poisoning, as well as help improve wound healing. Silver Sol technology is safe enough to consume every day, while powerful enough to destroy the causes of many serious diseases, like strep throat, staph, pneumonia, colds, flus, and other harmful pathogens. This new technology is much more effective than colloidal or ionic silvers and has the ability to terminate entire colonies of harmful bacteria at several hundred times the effectiveness of older solutions. Supernatural silver is what you need for any emergency. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com today and use the promo code Alex Says for 20% off and like us on Facebook. The worst drought in 50 years continues, and the first six months of 2012 marks the hottest half year on record. 78% of the Midwest Corn Belt is in drought conditions. Not only corn, but soy, alfalfa, fruits, vegetables, and wheat are all impacted, raising prices. The cost to feed livestock is forcing farmers and ranchers out of business, blowing up your food prices. The only strategy to counter this is to freeze your food cost at today's prices by getting your own supply of foods from eFoods Direct now. As the price of raw ingredients increases, eFoods will have to raise prices too. Now is the time to get your supply. I recently increased my supply from eFoods Direct because we have all known this was coming. You know about their delicious long-term storable foods. The fact is you can eat at any time to save money today. And because it stores for 25 years, you're locking in today's prices and avoiding the rising food cost. Don't wait. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. Call 800-409-5633 or eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. You can bet your life on eFoods Direct. Sick of the globalist eugenicist control freaks adding poison to your water and laughing as you get sick and die? Start purifying your water with ProPure. My friends, I've done a lot of research, and the best gravity filter out there, bar none, is ProPure. And it's available discounted at InfoWars.com. Its filters are silver impregnated to prevent bacterial growth. There's no priming required. It's NSF 42 certified. Optional fluoride filters can reduce fluoride up to 95%. Easy to set up and use. Doesn't require Require electricity, purify water from lakes, streams, ponds, and wells. This filter system leaves in beneficial minerals, which is key. Save money by not buying bottled water and avoid BPA that leaches from the plastic. ProPure is the best gravity-fed filter out there. It's what my family uses. Infowars.com already has the lowest price on ProPure. But if you add the promo code WATER at checkout, you get an additional 10% off at Infowars.com. You can also call to order 888-253-3139. Crashing through the lies and disinformation, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Okay, we've got investigative journalist and author Pat Shannon uh, joining us here in a moment. We're going to talk about his new book that we sell, by the way, that's amazing. Everything they ever told me was a lie. Uh, written and researched by Pat Shannon, available at InfoWarsStore.com. Uh, we're going to be going over his book, but also current events with Pat Shannon. Pat Shannon uh, dot net is his website. Going to him in a moment. But listen, I'm not joking about the government wanting to round people up and put us in FEMA camps. It's called the Emergency Centers Establishment Act. 
It's called the Civilian Inmate Labor Camp Program. And it's all these different executive orders about seizure of the population into work brigades. Just type in executive orders for forced labor. And you'll be at Library of Congress. And it's been reissued by every president in the last 30 years or so. So there'll be a bunch of different ones. Uh, but go pull them up. Uh, and all over the country now, they've got federally funded checkpoints uh, where they even face scan you with the similar systems they had in Fallujah uh, and then drag you off. And in the future, it's going to be a no buy, no fly, no gun own, uh, no work, no travel. They've said this. You're not going to have a job. You're not going to travel. You're not going to buy food. You notice all over they're putting signs up saying we don't accept large bills now. They're, they're trying to tell me at stores they won't take 20s now. So they're just phasing it out. They're tearing up $100 bills at Walmart that are real. They're arresting people that have $100 bills. They're arresting people that have silver and show it to someone at the park. Everything's criminal now, except being criminal. Then you're, you, this is, tyranny is when criminals take over. And sure, society collapses. They don't, they don't, they don't care about that. So I want to get Pat Shannon's take on this, but uh, here are some of these articles. Wall Street Journal reports legal families with 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 uh, post tax money. Uh, people have uh, post post tax money, and they are not allowed to leave with it out of the United States. They're not letting citizens leave to Costa Rica. They're not letting them leave. Uh, to Switzerland, and that's in the Wall Street Journal. They say, you can leave, your money stays here. And by the way, there's not even a law. They're just saying it. There's no law the UN runs our country, but Obama says they do to Congress. Uh, there's no law saying he can shut down coal power plants. They just do it. It's called government does whatever it wants. <clears throat> Mitt Romney hardly pays any taxes. The big uh, mega corporations themselves on average pay zero. Most of them pay nothing. What Google pays 3.4% a year. But the average American making over $100,000 a year pays almost 40% to the Federal Reserve. Then there's the dozens of other taxes. So here's that report. Uh, and we've got a video. Truck driver stands up to unconstitutional checkpoint. Americans are reasserting their Fourth Amendment. They now have Border Patrol checkpoints 100 miles in from any border or coastline. Well, most of the population lives on coastlines. And I've seen it. They let illegal aliens just drive through unfettered, give them bank accounts. They're all left alone. Homeland Security announced months ago, we already knew, they don't take any legal aliens now. In fact, they hire them in Homeland Security to, to uh, do contracts. And people comment in this video, they go, I thought you people want to stop the illegals. The checkpoints, as Ron Paul said, are for the American people. Okay? But the really scary thing is this Lou Rockwell story. Why you need a passport now? And it goes over and has links to mainstream news where they now say they have the right outside of law. It says there there's no law to just deny you a passport. And if you sue them, they give you a long form basically saying, who was your doctor? What was the nurse's name? Uh, and, and, and hundreds of questions no one can answer. And then they'll just say they're improper and refuse them. So this is the new system. Uh, and nothing to do with the illegals. They're just allowed in. Uh, they do a few arrests for, you know, for, for public consumption. And again, no fly list strands man on island in Hawaii. We had him on twice last week. Hawaii is a paradise for most visitors, but it was Wade Hicks Jr.'s prison for five days. And he only got out because of media attention here on the show. The 34-year-old Gulfport, Mississippi was stranded in the islands this week after being told he was on the FBI's no fly list during a layover for a military flight from California to Japan. The episode left Hicks scrambling to figure out how he'd get home from Hawaii without being able to fly. Then he was abruptly removed from the list Thursday with no explanation. Well, he, he, we had him and another fellow on, too. This happened in Lobby Bowl. It has raised questions on how he landed on the list. Hicks said he was traveling to visit his wife, a U.S. Navy lieutenant who deployed to Japan. He hitched a ride to military flight and is coming for military dependents who were allowed to fly on scheduled routes when there is room. Hicks said that during the layover... At the Pearl Harbor base, Immigration Customs Force an agent told him he was on a no-fly list, wouldn't be allowed to deplane. Of course, they don't want to tell you it was over the fact that he was told that uh, he was a prepper. And that they were reading, you know, they go and look up now what you do on the internet. And they got records of you flying constantly, no criminal record. They don't care.
They grab your laptops now and download them. Cops all over the country now grab your cell phone and download stuff without warrants. Courts say they can. Courts say they can taser you to make you answer questions in a hospital bed. They now throw people out of wheelchairs that are quadriplegics. And the courts say, that's good. You should have minded the order. If you're having a convulsion, don't mind the order to stop having the convulsion. I'm not joking. They taser you. If the teacher uploads a picture of her breast in front of the class, they suspend the class. And they say, well, the rule says you can't see pornography. The teacher's fine. People are like, well, that makes no sense. It's meant to overturn reason. Why do they in the military give you sleep deprivation for eight, for eight weeks and make you sing silly songs and do silly things? It's to see if you'll do what you're told. This is my rifle. This is my gun. This is for fighting. This is for fun. The Marines, at least back in the 60s, so I saw a documentary about Stanley Kubrick doing research. They made them march around grabbing their genitals. Why? Because it's you're going to do it or I'm going to stomp your guts out. That's why. The editor of Breitbart says, I don't want to be taken behind closed doors. And they say, well, you are. And they drag her back there to grab her genitals. On video, you see the door close. And the TSA people are smiling. These are weirdos that like this. A normal person doesn't like to get in the face of somebody that deserves to be gotten in the face because it's embarrassing. It's weird when you're powerful to exercise power over people. But those that don't have power crave it. All right, continuing. It's time for us that are good to get angry and rout these people. <clears throat> Here's Fox News. Oh, the IRS, you're not going anywhere. We'll get, we'll get Lou Rockwell on about 15 after. We're going to hold a pad over about 10 minutes. I, I, I just had to cover this because it's so important. And it says, well, they couldn't get it passed in Congress, so now they're just saying that you're going to be put on a no-fly list if the IRS says, one of their bureaucrats, that they think you may not have paid everything. That means if, you, if they send you a letter saying they believe you've underpaid the private federal reserve, that you're not going to fly. No judge, no jury. Just like Rahm Emanuel said, you are on a no-fly list that they put you on extrajudicially. Over 2 million Americans on it. Senate report just came out and admitted it. Totally innocent. Not one terrorist caught because they run the terrorist. That was two weeks ago. Senate report. Confirming what we've been saying for years. Government admits they put out fake terror alerts. Governor Ridge admitted that. They're staging it all. They run al-Qaeda overseas. And they sit there and they say, you're not going to own a gun now. We're going to not just let you buy guns now. We're going to SWAT team you in the middle of the night, even though you have no criminal record, because we put you on the list at the Threat Fusion Center. And here comes the SWAT team rolling down your door. And oopsie, they're going to gun you down in the future. And a gun gets dropped, just like the troops are trained to do in Iraq. They carry a few extra AK-47s in the tank or the APC. This is on record. And they kill 20, 30 Hajis, just throw a gun down. That's what they call them. And they come back here, they become cops. And they kill their wives and kids. It's not even a big deal now. It's just like, oh, yeah, that's just what happens. This is the new system. But then the rest of the veterans who held it together and were moral, well, you're all going to lose your rights, too, unless you join the New World Order. Then you can keep your guns. This is the hell system, and I've studied Nazi Germany, Soviet Russia, and every other tyranny. The, the, the old Roman system, when it started collapsing, wouldn't let Romans get out with their money. These are called capital controls, and they're coming. Legal, I remember talking to some members of John Wayne's family. John Wayne used to uh, love to go camp and stay out uh, in the county right next to Hayes County. I won't even say where. And that whole area out there. And uh, they had some family property and some houses on some creeks. And I had a chance to talk to some of John Wayne's family, you know, direct, you know, child. And they said, uh, this was like four years ago. They go, you got about two years to get out of the country if you've got any money. And I'm like, well, I don't really have that problem then. And they said, because they're not going to let you get out. And I said, well, how do you know that? And they said, we've been told by... Billionaires and others. And, and then I went and looked it up. Well, it's here now. You got a million bucks that's yours. You aren't leaving with it. <laughs> You're not going anywhere, scum. You're staying here. You understand filth. That's what they're telling you. Wall Street Journal today. You want to get out of this country where they torture and secretly arrest everybody and run Al-Qaeda? You, see, that's the thing. You're not going to run from this new world order, ladies and gentlemen. You got to stand and fight it. But they're, th these are tyrants. Pat Shannon, we're about to go to break, but just briefly, uh, I'll introduce you after the break. Uh, you've been talking about this forever, but what do you make of what I'm breaking down? Well, I just call on the bank, see if I had a balance there, Alex. <laughs> no, but I mean, you've studied history. Is this not what all authoritarian regimes do? 
Oh yeah, I I would would hope to think that uh, it's still some ways off, but uh, we know the FEMA camps are going on. We know the troops are, are gathering around the border. So, yeah, who's to say you're wrong? I mean, I, it's just we just can't know how imminent it is. Well, I don't think it's going to even be imminent. It's just going to be slow motion. You heard Bob go, oh, he got taken away for questioning terrorists. And you better not question or you're going to be a terrorist. They're already getting it where they're saying we're not going to work or have a job unless they say it's okay. Yeah, well, you can't even, uh, you know, almost anything using an excuse to put one in jail today. Almost any minor offense. And that's not even an offense in many cases. And, of course, the FBI is great at creating crimes. We just saw another one last week in New York at the Fed building. Let's talk about that when we come back. Pat Shannon is an investigative journalist covering false flag events ranging from assassination of Lincoln to events of September 11th. He's the author of several books. The newest available at Infowars.com. Everything they ever told me was a lie. By the way, the money bomb, huge success. We're going to be able to get the satellite uplinks and file sharing software. You're going to start seeing the show pop up on more and more cable and TV systems worldwide. Thanks to everybody supporting us. We raised right up close to $500,000 which is the most we've ever raised. Thank you so much. God bless you. Info Warriors, the once a year events, but a big success. What's going on with food prices? Have you noticed how your favorite ice cream is now 14 ounces instead of a pint? Round trip airfares into nine major cities has increased 44% in just one year. Ask your 18 to 25 year old what it costs to buy some nice fashionable jeans, $300? And yet not one person in a hundred realizes these prices reflect government spending and Federal Reserve Bank dollar printing. Gold in the last 10 years has increased 450%, while the dollar's purchasing power is declining daily. My name is Daniel Larson. I work at Midas Resources. To learn more about how gold and silver can protect your dwindling purchasing power and your IRA accounts, call 1-800-686-2237, extension 134. That's 800-686-2237, extension 134. Daniel Larson, 800-686-2237, extension 134. Don't throw away leftovers. Instead, throw all your leftovers, vegetable peels, eggshells, coffee grounds, pizza crusts, and more into the Bokashi. If you love to garden and compost but don't like the hassle of turning a compost bin or the smell, then check out the EM Bokashi Food Waste Recycling System from Terraganics. Finally, a way to recycle all your food and plant waste safely and effectively and stop using fertilizers. The EM Bokashi Food Waste Recycling System. Rather than decomposition, the Bokashi system uses fermentation to break down waste, so it takes less time to create nutrient dense humus for crops or gardens with no turning and no obnoxious odors. To learn more and order your Bokashi online, visit Terraganics.com and click on the orange button. That's Terraganics.com, spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com, or call 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Recycle all your food wastes in about six weeks with the Bokashi Food Waste Recycling System from Terraganics.com. Terraganics, life's getting better. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years in serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light System System today complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231 and the Berkey guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey light, the Berkey guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653 or order online at goberkey.com. That's goberkey.com today. You store guns, ammo, and food and water. But do you store peace of mind when it comes to your firearms? Now you can with Duracoat. The last thing anyone needs is a firearm that won't work when you need it most. Improve the factory finish and Duracoat your firearms once for a lifetime of protection against rust and corrosion. And Duracoat also protects against water, salt water, mud, grime, or whatever nature throws at you. The Duracoat Shake and Spray Finishing Kit has everything you need to finish a complete firearm for just $34.95. No need for an airbrush or other spray equipment. Just degrease, then spray on Duracoat and let dry for a lifetime. 
lifetime of protection. Duracoat is the simplest and most user-friendly firearm finish you can buy. Use Duracoat on knives, camping equipment, or anything metal, plastic, or wood you want to protect from the elements. Call 800-830-6677 or visit Duracoat.net. Spelled D-U-R-A-C-O-A-T dot net. Duracoat, the finest firearm finish on the planet. Is it getting better? Or do you feel the same? We have Where a diabolical government. You know? Pat Shannon, you've been fighting the globalists for, I don't know, more than two decades. I remember when I was first getting woken up, I was reading stuff you were writing in Media Bypass and other places. But now so much of it's come true. You know, back then they said it was a terrorism, basically. If you said there was a world government that was going to be set up by banks. Now it's like you're a terrorist if you don't love the world government being set up by banks. Pat Shannon, on your radar screen, what is front and center? There's so much to talk about. I mean, I guess the Federal Reserve, they're victims now. I predicted they would foil false flags against it. And as usual, it's coming out that it's Patsyville. Well, yeah, well, the incident last week was so obvious, and especially when the FBI has such a reputation for this. You know, the, in fact, it was it was one of one of their federal government antics that brought you and me together the first time with the Oklahoma City bombing back in '95. That's right. Uh, the but what happened last week? A judge Napolitano, I don't know if you caught it, but he he said that's the 18th time, the one eight, 18th time since 2001, uh, 911, that this has happened. Where they but the, and now those are just the ones that were exposed, my friend. I mean, you know they're staging stuff when even the New York Times and Washington Post admit it. Um, yeah. uh, break down how they set up these useful idiots. Well, I, I think uh, pro mentioning the uh, the uh, New York Times uh, back in '93, I think it's October 27th or 8th issue. They actually exp tell the whole story about the uh, alleged terrorist uh, Salem was his last name, spelled like Salem, and uh, how he actually stung the FBI when he offered to bring them some uh, white powder that was, you know, subtle, not explosive. And they said they insisted, and he, he taped them on the telephone. They insisted that, no, he used the real explosives. So he did a reverse sting on the FBI, and it really was laughable to, to those of us who were tuned in. Yeah, he was the, the handler of the low-grade morons they chose. They made him cook the bomb, train the driver, use real detonators. He figured out, because he'd worked for the CIA, that they were setting him up, so he recorded them. And then did a press conference the day after the attack saying, look, I'm not involved. So instead of them being able to set him up as the, as the mastermind, they had to pay him off. Correct. And, and with egg all over their faces. But they just do it over and over again. It turns out they got this guy into the country again and insisted he get a visa. But meanwhile, if you're a constitutionalist, they're, they're putting you on a no-fly list. Yeah, uh, you know, that is... <laughs> there is so much powerful control over over we the people. And I've said it for a long time. It's a long chapter. The first chapter in my book, it's going to be the first chapter in volume two as well, is and that's what's hiding in plain sight is the power of legal tender. Once once they stole the, the lawful money from us, the circulating gold and silver coin, and began to counterfeit not only paper, but the slug coins since 1965, then they can do anything. As you well know, Rothschild said, give me the control of a nation's money system. Flying. I don't care who makes its laws. Uh, you're right. This is a short segment. A long segment's coming up. I don't do pre-interviews normally. Pat, there's so much to talk about. What do you want to get to when we come back? I mean, there's just so much. Well, the assassinations and the news media cover-up section, large section of my book, is I, I covered very, very well-known cases. You know, the attempt on Reagan, JFK. But what I've done here and everything they ever told me was a lie was was uh, point out the fallacies in the government's official stories, but also little details that are major details that were never reported. And everyone who reads my book says, holy smokes, I didn't know that was going on in that case. And so I'll point out some of them to you in the next segment. We'll do that. What do you make of Building 7 on 9-11 where there's video where they say, get back, we're blowing it up. And the news goes, the building has fallen on its own footprint. Oh, it's still up there. It's coming down in a minute. I mean, it's just so obvious. <laughs> 
That was the BBC lady, yeah. Now, once again, egg all over their faces. Uh, I, I believe, as, as so many rumors are circulating, but the only one that makes sense to me, uh, you know, without proof, I, I believe that was the brains of the operation in Giuliani's office and the whole CIA equipment, and I think that's why they had to bring it down. Well, I want to ask the CIA and FBI and all these guys something. I mean, you guys know the government's bringing in the drugs. You guys know the government's behind white slavery, little kids. Uh, do you really want to be signed on to this? I mean, come on. It's, it, it's, it's out in the open now. The government's evil. And uh, you're destroying your own future. I mean, I just don't get it. I mean, the type of tyranny they're bringing in, Pat Shannon, is so hot. This is not just some corruption they're going to get away with. This thing is all or nothing. Once again, the power of legal tender. You see, those guys have got six-figure incomes now, Alex, plus great retirements. Uh, that's an easy way to sway a guy to uh, not so much come out and blatantly lie, but just tell little white lies and, and uh, ignore the real facts. So they got the guys wearing white hats that just go along with the evil with brigades of black hat operatives within every agency. Uh, yeah, and you know what? The right hand doesn't know what the left hand's doing. Uh, I discovered that in Oklahoma City bombing. Yeah, stay there. I exactly. That's why we found out the feds did it. We'll be right back. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. If you want an American company with American products made by Americans... Here is the Cal Ben Soap Company. Alex and his staff have used these pure soap products for years. These all-natural soaps are made from the highest quality vegetable and coconut oils that are earth-friendly and safe. See them on the web at 5starsoap.com or call 800-340-7091 for a free catalog. Buy the one- to two-month sample package and enjoy soaps that are twice as good as what you're using now. Or save big with a one- to two-year supply of soaps for all your cleaning needs. This is an amazing deal. You can save thousands of dollars and you will love the way real soap makes you feel. See them on the web at 5starsoap.com or call 800-340-7091 for a free catalog. Cold and flu season is upon us. Protect yourself with Supernatural Silver, a revolutionary new broad-spectrum antibacterial. Recent advances in silver technology have resulted in a silver solution that can be used daily to prevent bacteria viruses, mold, and food poisoning, as well as help improve wound healing. Silver Salt technology is safe enough to consume every day, while powerful enough to destroy the causes of many serious diseases, like strep throat, staph, pneumonia, colds, flus, and other harmful pathogens. This new technology is much more effective than colloidal or ionic silvers and has the ability to terminate entire colonies of harmful bacteria at several hundred times the effectiveness of older solutions. Supernatural Silver is what you need for any emergency. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com today and use the promo code ALEXSAYS for 20% off and like us on Facebook. The worst drought in 50 years continues, and the first six months of 2012 marks the hottest half year on record. 78% of the Midwest Corn Belt is in drought conditions. Not only corn, but soy, alfalfa, fruits, vegetables, and wheat are all impacted, raising prices. The cost to feed livestock is forcing farmers and ranchers out of business, blowing up your food prices. The only strategy to counter this is to freeze your food cost at today's prices by getting your own supply of foods from eFoods Direct now. As the price of raw ingredients increases, eFoods will have to raise prices too. Now is the time to get your supply. I recently increased my supply from eFoods Direct because we have all known this was coming. You know about their delicious long-term storable foods. The fact is you can eat at any time to save money today. And because it stores for 25 years, you're locking in today's prices and avoiding the rising food cost. Don't wait. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. Call 800-409-5633 or eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. You can bet your life on eFoods Direct.
We're back live. I'm your host, Alex Jones. It is Monday, the 22nd day of October, 2012. I know we have a lot of fans out there of Pat Shannon. Uh, we'll take a few calls before he leaves us. The toll-free number to join us on air on any issue you'd like to raise with Pat Shannon. Our guest is 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231. PatShannon.net is his website. We're going back to him in a moment. Uh, getting into some of the areas that his book, Everything They Ever Told Me Was a Lie, breaks down. It's an excellent book. Very easy read, but also thick. Lots of chapters, lots of documents, lots of photos. This is great to give somebody who is somewhat awake, but not all the way awake, or somebody who's totally asleep. This will blow their mind. Uh, again, I just keep thanking everybody. Amazing job to all the listeners. This was the fifth annual uh, pledge drive. We've always done one day out of the year in the last five years. We've never raised more than $500,000. And it's a lot of small donations. We want to thank everybody. I went to Barton Springs to swim some, swim some laps uh, Saturday after the 48-hour broadcast because uh, I had such a headache. I thought that would get rid of my headache. And by the way, it did. And I ran to one of the lifeguards who brought a, I bought a ProPure water filter discounted at InfoWarsStore.com as part of the money bomb. Uh, and it just was humbling to you know, actually run into somebody who donated. Plus, they got a great water filter at discounted prices. Win-win. So if you go to InfoWarsMoneyBomb.com, you can see some of the top featured uh, interviews we did uh, with so many amazing people like Gerald Salente and George Norrie uh, and uh, many, many others. Uh, Joel Skousen, David Icke. Uh, it is all up there. Uh, Max Kaiser at InfoWarsMoneyBomb.com. We also, I mean, it was 48 hours. We ended up going about 46 hours. Uh, James Wesley Rawls, very powerful interview we did as well. Uh, and then there's a link to all the interviews, 40 plus hours of them uh, up there at uh, Infowars.com. You can link through to our official YouTube channel. And it's all archived in higher res quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. So again, uh, this is in Let Us Get the Uplinks. Uh, now I'm just got to decide which ones to get to hit different parts of the world, uh, to budget that out, uh, the different file sharing systems to get on local TV stations around the country. Because most TV picks you up off of uh, these big file sharing systems. Uh, that are very expensive to subscribe to. So, I mean, it is a lost leader to get the word out, uh, but it will expand the audience so we can have a few sponsors. And we're kind of a hybrid for TV where we don't have you know, zero ads, but we have you know some ads. And so I'm having to codify all that after a few years beta testing, and we are just rushing forward. Five years ago, we would reach um, about 3 million people a week. Now it's 15 million a week. Uh, just amazing. Um, so again, all of you, great job. You're not behind us. You're right beside us. Uh, in this fight. And 100% of the uh, money from the money bomb will go towards the infrastructure and equipment and the satellite uplink. So again, thank you so much. And you've seen the expansion we've done with the last four. It's just given us that extra you know, money to really, well, plant seeds. Preachers call it seed money. Well, that's what it is. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and go back to Pat Shannon. Uh, Pat, uh, again, uh, you've got the floor. Take it away with this Page Turner book, Everything They Ever Told Me uh, Was a Lie. Let's just run through some of it. Uh, Reagan's an interesting one, uh, but but you're, you're also talking about the money power. Go, go ahead. Before I do, let me, let me say to your audience that I recently uncovered your... Uh, interview of maybe four or five years ago, that 90 minute interview with Aaron Russo. And speaking of people who are half asleep or half awake, that is about the greatest thing anyone could ever look at. I want to commend you. And Aaron and I were friends. I, I shot pool with him and his boys in his basement in his Beverly Hills home back in the eighties. Uh, he and I went way back. And, but, but that guy, I watched him grow. I, I watched him grow in truth. And uh, I, I just want to tell your audience to tune in. It costs them nothing. Just pull it up on Prison Planet TV and have a look at it. It's dynamite. Yeah, it's up there in high res on PrisonPlanet.tv. But um, uh, it's called Reflections and Warnings. It's it's almost two hours long. And uh, I went down there, and uh, his uh, wife was really sweet because he could barely walk at the time and was in excruciating pain and had been fighting cancer for like four years at the time. He ended up living another year, or not quite a year. And, I mean, that guy was just unbelievably tough. I don't, I don't want to get into all of it. But, uh, but uh, he, uh, he sat there, uh, you know, at the table for two hours being interviewed by me. Uh, and was just, you know, in excruciating pain the whole time. I don't, uh, and the point is, he was a great guy, but he, uh, the, and I think that's why that interview is so good, 
And there's a little clip at the restaurant. I'll never forget the last time I saw him personally. You know, we went to a restaurant uh, and uh, he got out, the car pulled up, he got in it and he gave me a hug. And uh, I could tell by the way he was acting, he knew he was gonna be going over the mountain. Uh, but uh, absolutely pretty, pretty powerful. In fact, speak some more about Aaron Russo if you'd like. Well, uh, Aaron and I first met back in the late 80s when uh, uh, Tupper Saucy was on the lam and traveling under a false name, and I was his Tupper's window to uh, uh, to society uh, back then and uh, uh, ended up going to dinner with this. I didn't even know. I didn't know anything about Aaron's uh, reputation and, and uh, movie making, and I learned all about it that evening. Also, a little-known fact is that um, he was longtime uh, – uh, live in with a with a, a movie star that everyone would know, and I I probably shouldn't mention this on the two, but most people, if they knew Aaron's history at all, would know whom I'm talking about. And and she uh, and no, and it's not her, a secret. Bette Midler, and and, and, okay. and, and, well, and then right. on top of that, he he was also the guy that originally got Led Zeppelin over here. So yeah. was, yep. Well, what what I was going to tell was a secret, but now I can't. <laughs> But anyhow, uh, yeah, he, he took bet to, bet to Hollywood, and uh, they later uh, sp uh, split up for, for some No, no, I, I don't think that's a secret, bro. That's, that's not, I, mean, I think that was even in like in his obituary. I mean, I guess it wasn't widely known, but the Internet now, everything's widely known. No, I mean, he produced the big play that got her uh, into stuff, yeah. Uh, he also invented, uh, invented a lot of other stuff. Very interesting fellow, certainly an evil person that built it. What did you make of... Uh, what did you make of uh, Obama saying you didn't build that and talking down entrepreneurs? That's pr pretty amazing. Yeah, the, uh, the the best retort, and and I'm I'm not fond of any of these candidates this 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 season. Never am. But uh, if if you haven't seen the talk that uh, Mitt Romney did last Thursday night at that Al Smith dinner, you must pull it up. It's one of the best political speeches, comedy things. I, I mean, he has some terrific comedy writers. And I, uh, if you haven't seen that speech, you gotta, you gotta pull it up and listen to it. It's, it's dynamite. It's a rib rocker. Uh, anyway, uh, you, you asked me, uh, uh, about the uh, about the book, and we're talking about the FBI and all. And more and more over the years, I've grown to see how my suspicions and yours and many others uh, in the past have have come to be true. With the the way that uh, the government frames people, even you know, goes right into the courts. And and FBI agents lying under oath. I, I saw covering so many federal trials over the years. I I saw that uh, over and over. But, you know, proving it is something else, and very few people would have the facts of not being an investigator. Reporter. Oh, it's now been proven in this case out of Round Rock in Georgetown where, they, uh, where the kids said, hey, daddy wasn't home, another man killed mommy, and they had the DNA and, you know, evidence and all sorts of stuff, and knowingly, knowingly sent the guy to prison for fun. Uh, and, I mean, and you read about stuff like that. It'd be one thing to set up a five-time ex-con or something. That'd be immoral and wrong. But when they send innocent family men, business owners, with no criminal record to jail and know they're innocent, I mean, it's, it's just crazy. It's downright evil. It is. And and I in the in the section on the who killed Robert Kennedy uh, in my book, I, I point that out that Herbert Herbert McDonald was a director of a laboratory of forensic science. And he, he was quoted saying that the revolver taken from Sir Han, uh, considering all the physical factors, could not have been the one that fired the projectile removed from Bobby Kennedy. Well, we come on down to the trial, Alex, and here they have their high-ranking criminologist. Uh, this is, uh, by the way, on page 224, uh, sits on the witness stand and under oath says that the serial number of the 22 revolver that killed Kennedy was H. 18602. And yet the recorded number of the weapon carried by Sir Han was H53725. And I asked four separate criminal attorneys, defense attorneys, I said, is there any way that could have gotten by uh, a defense counsel? He said, no way. We, all of them said to a degree, no way. We would have had the numbers in front of us on the, on the table. And it was just a, a, a phony charade. And so what I'm saying, Alex, is this high-powered attorney, uh, Grant Cooper, in, in California at the time, had to have been paid off to lose the case. And even Sir Han tried to fire him, and then the judge wouldn't let him. So the whole thing was controlled from the beginning.
You're right. And uh, that case I mentioned earlier was the Michael Morton uh, case where, again, they were just all in on sending the innocent guy to jail and over the decades knew it and uh, just, 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 you know, reportedly didn't even care. Former prosecutor Ken Anderson faces charges. Uh, that's now uh, coming out. And it, it's just so, well, Williamson County north of us is really a wicked place because you got all these Bible Belt folks that are real naive and you've got a really sinister, one of the most sinister group of, of police forces up there and, and prosecutors I've ever seen. Uh, you know, it's strange how one county cannot be corrupt and the next county can be corrupt. It just seems like the more naive the population, a lot of times the more Bible belty they are for a strange reason, the more evil it can get because people are so naive. H have you and seen that? Yeah. And trusting, trusting of government. Um, Monroe County, Tennessee, it's going on right now. You may remember reading over the past couple of years, uh, I did a few articles on uh, Lieutenant Commander Walt Fitzpatrick, who tried to go after Obama on the on the phony birth thing like three years ago. One thing led to another. He discovered all kinds of grand jury discrepancies. The foreman of the grand jury had been sitting there for over 20 years, and yet the Texas, Tennessee law says they can't sit more than one year. Uh, the, uh, the the people that have, have gone down, uh, like in, in that case in Monroe County, Darren Huff, was uh, has gone to federal prison for four years for a crime that was never that never even happened, and I covered that trial up in Knoxville. It's uh, just one more uh, false prosecution because they were able to nail him on a gun charge that was made up, and here he was licensed. But uh, it goes well, that's on like on. the Davidians. They were found not guilty of murder, but found guilty using guns in the commission of murder. And even when the Supreme Court, after they've been in jail, what, like seven years, because I went and covered it, said release them, the federal prison didn't. I, I mean, it's just lawlessness. And the more innocent you are, the more they want to throw you in prison. And, yeah. and, 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 you know, that's coming out with the DNA and all this. It's really weird. Yeah, well, Leonard Peltier, you know, that goes back to the wounded knee you mentioned earlier. Uh, those two FBI agents who died, there was never any proof that Leonard did it. He was a convenient patsy. Amazing. They just grab whoever they want, to, I guess, to get a, a collar or whatever. Yeah, I'm working on this, uh, still working on this West Memphis story, Jerry and Joe Kane. Uh, that begins to stink more and more uh, with the uh, situation where the I have a copy of uh, of the autopsies. And uh, these guys, these guys were shot with automatic weapons, Alex. Uh, well, we'll break down that story for those that may not know. Recap that. Well, they were traveling from Las Vegas back home to Florida on I-40 coming in uh, to uh, West Memphis uh, from Little Rock. And uh, the official story says that they uh, uh, were pulled off in a traffic stop. And uh, the son, uh, Joe Kane, was 16 and Jerry was 46 or so. As and I explain remember. who they were and why this is important. Well, they were they were exposing the money situation, and and they were doing seminars around the country on on uh, the fraud and the Fed, and and that's that's hallowed ground that you and I must not step on. Yet we do it all the time. And uh, so uh, Jerry Kane, the father, was was driving and uh, allegedly was pulled over on a traffic stop. However, when uh, uh, the son jumps out and they show a video, but not till 48 days later, of the son doing uh, uh, shooting and killing his cops, he's got. Uh, uh, AR-15 or AK-47, but it's semi-automatic. And so that's my point here. Uh, and then, I mean, imagine, if you, had, if you had killed a couple of cops, uh, would you hang around uh, a town like West Memphis, Arkansas, for the next 90 minutes? <laughs> I wouldn't. And yet, one exit down, 90 minutes later, Jerry and Joe Kane were surrounded and shot up and killed in the Walmart parking lot, only one exit from this other one, uh, where the cops were killed. Anyway, it's it's far too difficult and complex to go in on this short time we have left. But what it boils down to is those those men were killed with automatic weapons, and and I I don't know who did it, but I, I the angle, the ballistics, everything showed it could not have been Joe Cain from the video that they trumped up and showed us some 48 days later. So, but once again, these are the sorts of things. That story, by the way, will be in volume two of everything they ever told me was a lie. Let's look at Oklahoma City. Uh, they're now talking about domestic groups are going to strike. Homeland Security is not for Al-Qaeda. It's for the American people. We knew that was always where this was headed. 
but uh, I mean, Oklahoma City, I mean, in the two minutes we've got before we go to break, what do listeners need to know about that event? Well, most people don't remember the basics because, once again, we're talking about 17 years ago. But the basics were, as General Parton, and I always said if the FBI and the courts really wanted the truth on what had happened at Oklahoma City with the blast, then they would have called General Parton to the stand, who showed that the chargers were inside the building. He showed which columns they were at. And and he, he first spotted this sitting in his home in Virginia, looking at nothing more than Time and Newsweek magazines, looking at the pictures. And he tells his wife, well, only this, this no truck bomb did this. And so General Parton came to Oklahoma and we met him and, and uh, he, he began to look at the fire department's hundreds of other pictures and found at least four spots where the charges uh, were set inside the building and strategically right above the nursery. That's the way it was designed to murder children. And because they found out that what they had pulled in New York back in seven and 93 just just did not seem to uh, strum the heartstrings of America uh, the way they wanted to. So they had to kill some innocent children. And this is, you know, this is the hardest thing, as you mentioned, for Christian America to understand and believe that what what these dogs will stoop to. But we know the government admits to tens of thousands of people exposed to sarin nerve gas, radiation, you name it. And they admit to, in the Department of Energy, killing thousands of foster children in radiation experiments and shooting black men up with syphilis. I mean, everybody knows about that stuff. So, what, you'll fry little kids to death, but you won't blow them up at the Alfred P. Murrah building to get control? I mean, I mean, it's a no-brainer. That's right. It's, it's, it's very obvious. So, anyway... Uh the 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 Oklahoma City thing uh, was an atrocity. I've spent more time out there as much as any reporter, I guess, on the case, and uh, you know, interviewed people who were actual victims uh, as well as investigators. Hoppy Heidelberg was became one of my closest friends over the last decade. Uh, he just died this year. Um, so did Russell Means. Mm -hmm. We're going to come right back with Pat Shannon and your phone calls. Everything they ever told me was a lie. Then we're going to ask Pat where he sees America going. Are we are we waking people up or are, are we starting to win? Or are we just waking up to the fact we're total slaves run by psycho killers? And, uh, you know, how bad will it get? I mean, I guess the sky's the limit. I'm Alex Jones. Stay with us. The worst drought in 50 years continues, and the first six months of 2012 marks the hottest half year on record. 78% of the Midwest Corn Belt is in drought conditions. Not only corn, but soy, alfalfa, fruits, vegetables, and wheat are all impacted, raising prices. The cost to feed livestock is forcing farmers and ranchers out of business, blowing up your food prices. The only strategy to counter this is to freeze your food cost at today's prices by getting your own supply of foods from eFoods Direct now. As the price of raw ingredients increases, eFoods will have to raise prices too. Now is the time to get your supply. I recently increased my supply from eFoods Direct because we have all known this was coming. You know about their delicious long-term storable foods. The fact is you can eat at any time to save money today. And because it stores for 25 years, you're locking in today's prices and avoiding the rising food cost. Don't wait. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. Call 800-409-5633 or eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. You can bet your life on eFoods Direct. Imagine waking one morning only to find your family shivering in the dark because you couldn't afford to pay your electric bill. That's closer than you think. You probably haven't heard about this yet because the liberal media has been suppressing what is fast becoming the most shocking news story of 2012. Obama's secret war on coal that could increase your already high power bill as much as 400% in coming months. As shocking as it sounds, it may well be just a matter of time before the lights start going out across America. But here's some good news. There's an underground video at Exposed123.com that thousands of smart patriots have used to end their slavery to the corrupt electricity monopoly. The video at Exposed123.com has already been banned by Google, and the liberal media is doing everything in its power to take it down and keep America in the dark. So watch it now at Exposed123.com before it's too late. Again, that's Exposed123.com. Hello, this is Ty Bollinger, author of the best-selling book, Cancer, Step Outside the Box. I want you to know some very important information. In 1985, President Ronald Reagan requested that carnivora be sent directly to the White House at a time when only the president could obtain this world-class healer. Now, 27 years later, carnivora capsules are used around the world to keep people healthy. 
Now you can protect yourself and your loved ones in this age of superbugs with 17 naturally occurring compounds that instinctively respond to abnormal cells only without harming a single normal cell. If you want to stay healthy, now's your chance to literally wake up your critical immune cells to attack harmful invaders that don't belong in your body. Call 1-866-VENUS-FLY or order from Carnivora.com. That's C-A-R-N-I-V-O-R-A.com. That's 1-866-836-8735, 1-866-VENUS-FLY, or visit Carnivora.com. Protect your immune system. It's the only one you've got. The preacher man says it's the end of time And the Mississippi River, she's a gold dry The interest is up and the stock market's down And you're only getting mugged if you go downtown We're going to take some calls right now for Pat Shannon And then we've got uh, Lou Rockwell coming up at LouRockwell.com I'm Alex Jones with Infowars.com The new book is Everything They Ever Told Him Was a Lie and you know, here's the problem. When we just get to the point now where, okay, the government's corrupt, they can do whatever they want. And then everyone's intimidated by government. And government is now in a stance of, we're intimidating you. Um, society starts to collapse. I want to go to some phone calls for Pat Shannon. But Pat, do you think things are getting better wake-up wise? Are they getting worse? Where do you see things going? Well, I've, I've uncovered a quote since I finished that book that I'm going to use in the opening of my prologue of the new one. And this is from William Casey. You remember William Casey from the Reagan administration? CIA director. Correct. He was Reagan's first. And, and this is quoted from CIA director William Casey's first staff meeting in 1981 where he said, We'll know our disinformation program is complete when everything the American public believes is false. Now, so to answer your question, when there's their whole goal the last 30 years laid out, and, and I think they're succeeding, and we seem to have arrived. Uh, Alex, the world's upside down. I mean, look at the... Well, I mean, they say we've got to take your rights because of al-Qaeda while they publicly fund al-Qaeda overseas, uh, and they have crazy weirdos who take an eight-hour class who grab our wives and drag them away to private rape rooms, and the Army New Manual says re-education camps. They don't even use a term like, you know, centers to to inform and change radicalization or something. You no, know, it's like, we're going to put you in a re-education camp. I mean, it's just like, man, you really are criminals. I mean, it's it's scary. Yeah, the, uh, the lobbyists uh, that have, you know, are the foreign interlopers in destroying our republic. Look at the AMA doctors and Medicare and Big Pharma. They've destroyed medicine. The, well, uh, look at the U.N. is going to be here overseeing the election, but not the electronic voting machines. They're going to be there to make sure there can be low-level election fraud and, and, and you know, retail vote stealing. Yeah, they, they, I've, I've been screaming about electronic vote fraud since, since 07. And still, people, most people on the street don't even know what goes on. Well, you and I watched what happened uh, in the primaries, how they shut out Ron Paul with the electronic vote. Here he's drawing thousands to where Romney's drawing hundreds in his crowds, and we don't even know it. Unbelievable. Pat Shannon's our guest. Chris in Kentucky, you're on the air with Pat Shannon. Yes, Alex, thanks for taking my call. I just on the Oklahoma City issue, I'm going to think get the uh, Noble Lie DVD for those who don't know about Oklahoma City or were not old enough. It's a very important to see that because I didn't realize. That hey, Chris, really... you've been calling for like 10 years. You haven't gotten through in a long time. No, I haven't. This is the first time I've gotten through since a long time. Yeah, I've been working a lot slaving for the New World Order. What do you expect? Well, huh? you better not try to take your after-tax money to Switzerland or anywhere else. This no, isn't 